Hello grade 12 students. In this video we're going to start our new chapter about the sexual cycle. We will start with part 1 reproduction and genetics. Chapter 15 regulation of the female sexual hormones document 1 about the sexual cycle. First of all you have to know that the menstrual cycle of the female is divided into two parts. The first one is called the ovarian cycle, the second one is called the uterine cycle. The ovarian cycle is composed of pre ovulation phase, which is called the pre ovulation phase, it's called the follicular phase, and the post ovulation, which is after ovulation, it's called the luteal phase. So you have to know that ovarian cycle, the pre ovulation phase is called the follicular phase. Or development of follicles and the post ovulation is called the luteal phase okay so pre it's before the ovulation post is after the ovulation whereas the uterine cycle it's conserved for the uterus so we have the period or we have the menses which is about four to five days or six days it depends on the female so we have here the menses we have the proliferative phase and we have the secretory phase after ovulation so pre ovulation we have the menses menstrual cycle we have the menses and we have the proliferative phase and after ovulation post ovulation it's called the secretory phase uterus is known to be the site of implantation of the zygote the fertilized egg which was produced in the ovary of the female then the ovary and the uterus they should synchronize their cycle meaning that the uterine cycle and the ovarian cycle they should be working together they should work together in order to accomplish the process if there is fertilization or not if there is fertilization the uterus is said to be the site of implantation of the embryo so if there is fertilization so uterus is the site of implantation and you have to know that pre menstrual cycle this is the endometrium we're going to talk about this in details about the endometrium and we're going to talk about the different hormones secreted so during the menses the endometrium we have menstrual flow we have release of blood during the menstrual cycle and post menstrual what will happen and we will talk about the female hormones progesterone and estrogen they are the primary sexual hormones estrogen and progesterone about 8 to 10 days before ovulation uterus knows that there is a message that is received to the uterus that oocyte 2 started to resume meiosis 2 where it was blocked and will soon enough be ready to be released so the uterus will anticipate the process of fertilization and that of the formation of the zygote so the uterus will prepare itself for the major ev event for the implantation of the zygote or the embryo you have to know that first you have to know that the tube-like glands they start to appear in the endometrium lining the role is to sustain these tube-like glands to sustain and to nourish the embryo with the nutrients needed spiral blood vessels will start to form blood vessels they hold more blood meaning that we have more nutrition for the embryo so these tube like glands that appear in the endometrium lining which is the innermost lining of the uterus this is the endometrium so what is the endometrium it's the innermost lining of the uterus so the spiral blood vessels they increase in number and this increase in the spiral blood vessels will lead to the flow of more blood meaning that more nutrition will be found to the embryo or will be delivered to the embryo so here is the endometrium here is the endometrium the lining of the uterus the inner lining and here we have the myometrium but we work almost about the endometrium this is the inner lining of the uterus this is the vagina the female reproductive system and we have the cervix okay 
cervix is destroyed and we have here the uterus where we have the endometrium and the myometrium in the most one is called the endometrium and we work about this sloughing of the endometrium will cause the appearance of the menstrual cycle as such due to the presence of more and more gland and more and more blood vessels all of them the endometrium will grow and become thicker so becoming thicker these changes are referred to as the proliferation stage and they are under the effect of the hormone which is called estrogen produced by the developing follicles in the ovary proliferation stage confounds with the follicular stage of the ovarian cycle so they confound to each other here you have to know that the follicular phase and we have here the luteal phase follicular phase and the luteal phase the follicular it's pre ovulation and the luteal and the ovarian cycle it's post ovulation you have to know that this hormones we have estrogen and progesterone the blue the red one is for estrogen and the green one for progesterone so you have to know that we are under the effect of estrogen okay during the proliferation phase okay so we are under the effect of estrogen also after a luteal phase we have estrogen level and here we have a new hormone which is the progesterone which increase in the amount after ovulation why we will discover in the coming slides more blood vessels and more glands will appear with time until we reach the ovulation day which about the day 14 around ovulation during the post ovulatory phase of the ovarian cycle the endometrium will acquire the maximum number of glands and vessels its glands start to produce the nutritive liquid glycogen and appear as a uterine lace for the uterus as a uterine lace uterine lace protects the uterus this part of the uterine cycle is known as the secretory phase and it's under the effect of the estrogen and progesterone together so this phase it's called the the secretory phase and it's under the effect of both estrogen and progesterone both hormones both female sexual hormones they are produced by what by the corpus lithium the yellow body during the luteal stage of the ovarian cycle so pay attention here this figure we have the follicular phase before ovulation now we have the luteal phase after ovulation here we have the corpus luteum corpus luteum secretes estrogen and progesterone that's why under the effect they are produced both of them they are produced by the corpus luteum so during the menstrual cycle we have menstruation at the beginning uterine cycle we have proliferative phase and we have the secretory phase secretory phase it's under the both hormones estrogen and progesterone secreted by the corpus luteum here during the secretory phase we have thickening of the endometrium so here the thickening of the endometrium while here showing the hormone levels for estrogen and progesterone and here we have fsh and lh we'll talk about them later fsh it's follicle stimulating hormone fsh and lh it's luteinizing hormone it's the luteinizing hormone lh so these hormones we're going to talk about them these are the gonadotropic hormones lh and fsh so these hormones we're going to talk about them in the coming sessions if fertilization occurs what will happen if it occurs the fetus will be implanted in the uterus where eventually the endometrium will form what's known by the placenta whereas if there is no fertilization what will happen if there is no fertilization then between days zero and six of the menstrual cycle 
the superficial layer of the angiometrium, which is rich in connective tissues, will be sloughed off. So the pyrrole vessels will be exposed. So as a result, we have bleeding. So sloughing of the angiometrium will lead to bleeding, and the thickness of the angiometrium will decrease with time as another menstrual cycle will occur. This is known as menstruation or menses stage, which is due to the drop in the levels of estrogen and progesterone, while after the degeneration of the corpus luteum. Okay, so here we have the drop in the level of the hormones, which are estrogen and progesterone. When they drop, they drop at this level, which is the menstrual cycle. So during this cycle, the menstrual cycle, there is a drop of estrogen and progesterone. They decrease, and this decrease will cause menstruation to occur again and again. So you have to know that follicles, ovarian cycle includes follicular phase and the luteal phase. Uterine cycle, menstruation, proliferative, all of them, they are pre-ovulatory phases and the secretory phase after ovulation. So menstrual cycle occurs again. If there is no fertilization, since the corpus luteum degenerate, so there is no more corpus luteum, there is no secretion of estrogen and progesterone. To understand, to understand the various, the various ways, ways that, that medical, medical science, science can assist reproduction, can assist reproduction it, is it is important to understand, to understand how the reproductive, reproductive system functions in both sexes, sexes because, the because the cause of infertility, of infertility often lies equally, equally with, with both men and women. Men and women. The, main the main players in the female, female reproductive, reproductive cycle, cycle are the pituitary, are the pituitary gland, gland, the ovaries, ovaries and, the and the uterus. Their activities, Their activities are closely, closely coordinated. coordinated. Each month, Each month, one or one other, other ovary, ovary releases, releases a single, a single egg, egg, an event, event known as ovulation. ovulation. It, is it is brought about by a series of complex, complex interactions, interactions between, between the pituitary the gland, gland, the ovaries, the ovaries and, the, and uterus. the uterus. The pituitary, the pituitary gland, gland is itself, is itself under, the under the control of this small of the area of the, of the brain known as the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus. A new, a new menstrual, menstrual cycle, cycle begins when the when nerve cells, cells of this center secrete, secrete a hormone, hormone called gonadotrophin-releasing hormone, hormone, GnRH, into the, into the network, network of blood vessels, blood vessels which surrounds the pituitary, the pituitary gland. gland. Stimulated, Stimulated by pulses of gonadotrophin-releasing gonadotrophin hormone, hormone, cells in the pituitary, the pituitary gland secrete another hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. FSH, FSH travels, travels in the bloodstream, in the bloodstream reaching, reaching the ovaries. The ovaries. There, it there it stimulates the formation and growth of an ovarian, of an ovarian follicle, follicle in one or other ovary. ovary. The, follicle the follicle consists of an egg, egg a, number a number of surrounding, of surrounding cells, cells which secrete oestrogen, oestrogen hormones, hormones, and fluid. And fluid. FSH, FSH helps, the helps the egg to mature, egg mature and, prepares and prepares it for it release. For release. As the, As the follicle matures, matures the, hypothalamus the hypothalamus increases secretion of GnRH. Of GnRH. This, in this in turn stimulates, stimulates the, pituitary the pituitary to secrete a second, a second hormone, hormone which acts which on the ovary. ovary. This, is this is luteinizing, luteinizing hormone, or LH. Or LH. Toward, Toward the, the middle of the cycle, of the cycle there is a there sudden is a peak in the blood, blood level of LH. LH. This, this acts, acts as the trigger, as the trigger for ovulation. For ovulation. Within minutes, Within minutes of, its of its release, the egg is, the egg guided, is guided by suction, by suction through, through the fringed opening of the outer, outer end, end of the fallopian tube, tube. Starting, starting it on a journey which will, which will take five or six days, days as, it as it passes down the tube, down the tube and, finally and finally reaches, reaches the, cavity the cavity of the uterus. Of the uterus. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, after the after follicle ruptures, it is converted into this yellowish body known as the corpus luteum. Cells, Cells of the corpus, of the corpus luteum, luteum secrete, secrete the hormone, hormone progesterone, progesterone, which brings which about important changes in the lining of the uterus, of the uterus preparing, preparing it for possible, for possible, for possible pregnancy. pregnancy. In fact, in fact the, lining the lining of the uterus, of the uterus known, as, known the endometrium, as the endometrium, undergoes changes, changes in response to hormone, hormone levels, levels during, during the cycle. The cycle. In the first, in the first half, of the, half cycle, of the cycle, known as known the follicular, as the follicular phase, phase, the developing, the developing follicle, follicle secretes increasing, increasing amounts of oestrogen, oestrogen hormone, hormone, which encourages, which encourages regeneration, regeneration of the endometrium. Of the endometrium. After ovulation, After ovulation there, are there are important changes, changes in the endometrium, in the endometrium aimed at making it suitable, suitable to receive a fertilized, fertilized egg. egg. 
These changes are brought about by a secretion of progesterone from the corpus luteum. The secretion of progesterone is maintained for several days, but if the egg is not fertilized in that time, the corpus luteum withers, and falling levels of progesterone and estrogen trigger the shedding of the uterine lining as the menstrual flow. The cycle then starts again. But if the egg is fertilized, no menstruation occurs as the corpus luteum continues to function, secreting progesterone during the first three months of the pregnancy. Thereafter, numerous changes occur to support the developing embryo.